Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video. Uh, I'm going to actually be starting a new series on my channel and this is going to be the first one in that series and this is called How to Make a Skyblock Server and I'm going to go into a few little details before we get into the video. If you want to skip forward to the video, it will be on the screen right now so you guys can skip forward to that part. But for those of you sticking around for an explanation, basically uh, a lot of you guys have been asking of how to like set up a specific server and I've been getting a lot of comments just asking how to like uh, make plugins that go with your server game mode. So this is sort of like the best way that I could explain how to do this and sort of like showcase how this is done properly. So but if you guys uh, like this type of series, if you want to see more like how to make a faction server or how to make a survival server, uh, it'll probably be sort of on the same guidelines as this. So. If if you guys uh, want to leave a like and comment and just let me know that you guys are interested in that, that would be helpful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. As we get started into video, I just want to mention that this setup is available to be bought on MC Market and there's actually currently a sale uh, for one month when this video goes live. So if you guys want to check that out, the link will be down in the description and this setup uses all free plugins, which is great. So if you guys want to get a really good head start on making a custom Skyblock game mode with some really cool features, I highly recommend this setup. The link will be down in the description. So getting started with any type of server, the thing that stands out the most is your server builds. If you have really nice, good quality builds, then that sort of allows and brings a nice aesthetic a pleasing to players when they first join. And so uh, for this specific setup here, it has a nice little clear path to sort of indicate there is going to be shops around. So this is a nice little trading NPC spawn area, and that is great for this type of game mode. And it gives the players the ability to walk around and explore the spawn and not feel confined to any space and so that also gives the opportunity if you want to do like a treasure hunt system or easter eggs or presents where players can go around and find uh, specific things that is great and it lends itself to really nice builds if you guys need some really good professional high quality builds be sure you check out odyssey builds their link will be down in the description as well as the top right hand corner of the screen you guys can actually use my code striker10 to get 10% off your purchases from the odyssey build shop so make sure you go check that out to see if those types of builds work for you and your server. So once you have all your spawns and everything set up, the very next step that I recommend doing is getting your core plugin for your specific game mode. So for this one, it is Skyblock, and there's three different types of Skyblock plugins that I recommend. There's A Skyblock, B Skyblock, and C Skyblock. Just kidding, that the C Skyblock doesn't exist. The third one is going to be Iridium Skyblock. And so uh, this specific setup is using A Skyblock, and I kind of like the A Skyblock features and how it's implemented into this GUI. So any type of Skyblock plugin should have the core features that supports custom islands, an island top system, a team system, and some sort of uh, challenges or level up system as well. So those three that I mentioned do include these core types of features, so that is what I recommend after you getting all your builds done. I personally really like GUIs that have a really nice interface where you can uh, have it clean and organized and this setup does such a good job of having all your island settings right in your GUI so they don't have to execute commands, they don't have to do pretty much anything, it's all right there, all uh, being able to interact with the interface which is great. If you guys like free and unique plugins, be sure you check out today's video sponsor, Sangata. Sangata Marketplace offers a variety of free and premium plugins from a well-known range of developers. So make sure you guys check out the Sangata and Sangata Marketplace with the links below. After having your core plugin set up and as well as having a GUI uh, information set up, next thing that you want to implement is having a fun little additional features that correspond to your main game mode. So using these features will allow your players to actually stay on your server to gain and boost up the skills. So this helps boost your main game mode so that's why you have a sub, sort of like a sub feature under your main game mode where you can boost up your skills and so I really like the ability of using jobs and player skills leveling up to sort of increase your player as a whole. You could stop there with the additional features, just having jobs where you can level up, but you can keep going into multiple different steps as well. So there is a warp mine and also a warp dungeon. And so this is a very cool features where basically you can go ahead and upgrade your abilities in the dungeons and in the mines, not just uh, grinding at your spawners all day, but this gives your players the ability to actually explore more of your server than just stuck on their island. So with the use of the mining system and the dungeon system, 
This works very well with adding custom mobs, and so that is the next feature, is adding custom mobs to your server, and specifically in certain areas, and this is a really good example of where you can use a Mythic Mobs plugin to make a custom mobs and also custom mob drops. So with your custom mobs, uh, you can also do custom drops, and so with these drops, you can use other plugins to be able to make custom recipes and make custom items with those custom drops that you have. These different types of mobs have a percent chance to drop a rare item and then you can use that rare item and sort of grind and try to get those items to make it different sets of custom armor or even bows weapons a whole bunch of different things so that is a really cool and unique feature that I really personally like and that is what I recommend for the next feature so to recap what we have said, uh, make sure you have your good spawn, make sure it's customized and uh, have a good theme for your server. Make sure you have your core plugin, whatever game mode that you're running, so this is a skyblock. Make sure you have a GUI creation plugin, so like the deluxe menu. And then once you have those set up, go ahead and start implementing your sub features. Jobs, skills, different types of levels up system, and then also have uh, additional mining system or a dungeon system where you can fight custom mobs and then with that have custom drops as well as custom crafting recipes and unique and custom items and so that is sort of like the whole general sphere of a skyblock server that you should have implemented so once you have that core system set up that is where you can go ahead and start adding other plugins such as like scoreboards you can have your warps gui you can have additional little fun plugins you can have custom enchants uh citizens crazy crates uh, so those are some of the plugins that I recommend also make sure you have a good shop plugin so you can use the shop plugin shop GUI shop GUI plus spawner shops uh, so there's a lot of different various economy plugins out there and those are the ones that I recommend so uh, that sort of wraps up my uh, how to make a skyblock server and I just want to say again a huge shout out to the setup creator for letting me showcase his uh, setup so thank you so much for that and if you guys want to check out the setup the link will be down in the description where you guys can go purchase it so let me know if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below share it around and subscribe all that great stuff so thank you all so much for watching hope it did help you out i will see you guys in the next video have a good one peace out